Stone Soup by Anne McGovern. Pictures by Winslow Penny Pels. For Christopher Lane, A.M. For Trot, who would eat anything and did. W.P.P. A young man was walking. He walked and he walked. He walked all night. And he walked all day. He was tired. And he was hungry. At last, he came to a big house. What a fine house, he said. There will be plenty of food for me here. He knocked on the door. A little old lady opened it. Good lady, said the young man, I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? I have nothing to give you, said the little old lady. I have nothing in the house. I have nothing in the garden. And she began to close the door. Stop, said the young man. If you will not give me something to eat, will you give me a stone? A stone, said the little old lady. What will you do with a stone? You cannot eat a stone. Ah, said the young man, I can make soup from a stone. Now the little old lady had never heard of that. Soup from a stone? Fancy that. There are stones in the road, said the little old lady. The young man picked up a round gray stone. This stone will make wonderful soup, he said. Now get me a pot. The little old lady got a pot. Fill the pot with water and put it on the fire, the young man said. The little old lady did as she was told, and soon the water was bubbling in the pot. The young man put the round gray stone into the pot. Now we will wait for the stone to cook into the soup, he said. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady said, this soup is cooking fast. It is cooking fast now, said the hungry young man, but it would cook faster with some onions. So the little old lady went to the garden to get some yellow onions. Into the pot went the yellow onions with the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady said, This soup smells good. It smells good now, said the hungry young man, but it would smell better with some carrots. So the little old lady went out to the garden and pulled up all the carrots she could carry. Into the pot went the long, thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady said, This soup tastes good. It tastes good now, said the hungry young man. But it would taste better with beef bones. So the little old lady went to get some juicy beef bones. Into the pot went the juicy beef bones and the long, thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady said, This soup is fit for a prince. It is fit for a prince now, said the hungry young man but it would be fit for a king with a bit of pepper and a handful of salt. So the little old lady got the pepper and the salt. Into the pot went a bit of pepper and the handful of salt and the juicy beef bones and the long, thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady said, 
This soup is too thin. It is too thin now, said the hungry young man, but it would be nice and thick with some butter and barley. So the little old lady went to get butter and barley. Into the pot went the butter and barley with the bit of pepper and the handful of salt and the juicy beef bones and the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. After a while, the little old lady tasted the soup again. This is good soup, she said. Yes, said the hungry young man. This soup is fit for a king. Now we will eat it. Stop, said the little old lady. This soup is indeed fit for a king. Now I will set a table fit for a king. So she took out her best tablecloth and her best dishes. Then the little old lady and the hungry young man ate all the soup. The soup made with the butter and barley and the bit of pepper and a handful of salt and the juicy beef bones and the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. Now I must be on my way, said the young man. He took the stone out of the pot and put it into his pocket. Why are you taking the stone? said the little old lady. Well, said the young man, the stone is not cooked enough. I will have to cook it some more tomorrow. And the young man said goodbye. He walked on down the road. He walked and he walked. What a fine supper I will have tomorrow, he said to himself. Soup from a stone. Fancy that.